Floors are a primary object used in Revit to create building models. In our dataset project, we have a simple grid layout that we will use to place a floor around. From the Structure ribbon on the Structure panel, click on the Floor tool. Revit displays a contextual ribbon for creating floors. You begin first by sketching lines. Depending on the task at hand, you can then use any of the draw panel tools to create the required sketch lines for the floor outline. Click the rectangle button and then from the drawing area use Revit's snapping tools to draw a box shape from grid intersection to grid intersection. Now you may have noticed that on the options bar we have a chain option useful for drawing individual lines. Next to that is an offset value used to offset the sketch lines as you create them. And to the right of that is the radius option. With that enabled, as you draw lines and create corners, Revit will automatically fill it the lines. Back on the properties palette for a moment, note the structural parameter. A structural floor and an architectural floor are the same object and they can be the same floor type but an architectural floor's structural property is disabled. And architectural floor does not have properties relating to reinforcement cover, whereas structural floors do. You can switch this setting on demand. Now back to work. We need to correct the lines we made. To do that, let's use the modify panel. Click the offset tool and then for the offset distance type in 9 inches or 450 millimeters. Also be sure to disable the copy option. We don't need to make additional sketch lines. Then in the drawing area offset the left and right lines to the outside. Modify the offset value to 1 foot or 300 millimeters. Now offset the top and bottom lines to the outside. So our sketch line work is in the correct location. Did you notice the double lines on one of the sketch lines? That indicates the direction of the slab, most specifically in dealing with metal deck layers in the floor. When a floor is seen in section at a medium or fine level of detail, the profile of the deck is visible. So this direction control controls if you see the deck in the proper orientation or not. To change the orientation, look to the draw panel and click the span direction tool. Once active, move into the drawing area and pick on the sketch line on the left side. Now the deck spans aligned with that line. By the way, if you intend to close a sketch loop, you can do that quickly using the keyboard shortcut SZ to close your sketch. Sketches have to be closed boundaries with no gaps, no crossing sketch lines, and no duplicated line work. Now you are ready to click the Finish Edit Mode button. By default, Revit will place a span direction symbol on the floor if one has been loaded into your project. If you had CAD files of your floor outlines, you can take advantage of it by linking in the file and picking directly on the lines. For even speedier sketching, you know the layers that contain your floor line work, you can import them directly. To begin, use the project browser and open up the level 2 plan view. Start the floor tool, but before going too far, use the properties palette and click edit type. Use the drop down at the top and assign the 6 inch or 150 millimeter concrete floor type. Click OK to close. Now go to the insert ribbon and use the import CAD tool. Now on the import formats dialog, Browse to the dataset folder and locate level2.dwg. Once you've located that file, 
set the positioning option to Auto Origin to Origin. Then change the Layers option to let you specify a layer. Once ready, click Open. Now on the Select Layers Levels to Import Link dialog, click the Check None button and then enable the A Floor Outline layer and click OK. We now have sketch lines that match the elements found in the imported CAD file. But since all the lines were imported, Revit doesn't know the span direction and we need to fix that. Again, click the span direction tool and pick the top line. Now you can click the finish edit mode button. When you create floors, you may be presented with this attachment question. It is because we are working on a floor and there are walls that extend to this floor. Unless you know otherwise, generally it's best to say no to this, especially earlier in the design. Now that there is a new floor with this span direction symbol, open the 3D view and you can see the two floors that have been created by sketching and importing lines.